Fair use copyright facts. <laughs>「This is my review of Godzilla minus one. The first part. This is going to be much shorter than my normal video. In America, this movie would be considered a, a B movie or a C movie that'll wind up free on YouTube in a couple of months or on weird cable channels you have where you live. Or it'll be streamed. Um, as for the first half, it's very talky. There's a little bit of action. You get to see Baby Godzilla, essentially, in the beginning. And then you get to see his handiwork a little later. This is not a non-stop action movie. It's very talky. I'd like to say... At this point, I find this movie very racist and anti-American. There's no white people in this movie, not to mention black or Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Latinos. It's only little chinese -y people. I'll address that statement in a moment. Um, it's just not amazing visuals. There was a Godzilla movie like in the late 90s with Matthew Broderick or whatever his name was that was way better than the first half of this. I don't know how people rave. I find the acting between the main dude and his little chinese -y wife terrible. Like... B or C level acting that you would see in high school plays. These are not Hollywood's elite <laughs> that are acting in this. It's bad. I find it funny more than riveting or exciting. Just like how horrible the acting is. Um, something has come up. So I'm going to continue this. You won't know because I'll edit it together. But as far as the first half, it's just a lot of talky. And not a lot of action-y. This is typical for non-American movies. There's not a lot of hits. For those of you that have never left America, right, or never experienced other countries, even the big ones, Russia, China, India, they, somebody just said, dude, Bollywood is so good. No, it isn't. It's all, it's all dancing. There's no good acting in anything ever from, from India. It's just dancing and weird instruments from the 1400s. That's all I can say about Bollywood. Um, there's a reason that every country in the world, all of them, watch American movies and they're blockbusters. Whether it's a comedy, a drama, action, whatever. The whole world loves our movies because, frankly, America. And we're the best at movies. Fact. That's a Trump America. Other countries have garbage movies. This is why we don't get them here in our box offices, or very rarely. And those that are art pieces, or period pieces, they're all garbage. I can't name one. Name an action movie or a big star on the level of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I say his name correctly. The Rock, Jason Statham. Name a... Yeah, any of the big ones. Who's the homeboy that plays Rambo? That dude. Um, name a big action movie from another country. Russia? You can't. China? You can't. How about Uruguay? What's that place Borat came from? Do we get a lot of movies from there? How about anything from Guatemala, Peru, Brazil? No. 
There's nothing in Central or South Mexico? No. Central South America? Nothing. Certainly nothing from Antarctica, right? How about Australia? How many big hit movies from there? None. England? None. America leads the way. Now, those of you that are not American, you're hating right now, but America. <laughs> so I will continue this. I have to take care of something quickly. And I'll tell you about the second half of the movie. From 1 to 10, for what should be like a, you know, a blockbuster, like a July, right, or August movie, like a summer big hit. From 1 to 10, I don't know how this got rated a 98 by Rotten Tomatoes, although these are critics and not real people. The first half from 1 to 10... For a blockbuster movie, probably with a somewhat big budget, I'm giving a four. The very few brief encounters you see in the first half with Godzilla. Um, you know, it looks okay. The CGI and whatever, AI, did an okay job. It's just so infrequent. Like, in the first hour, there's, like, I don't know, 60 seconds total of Godzilla. That's it. Uh, I'm not really doing questions, but I'll do one, and then I'm going to continue on the second half. Uh, you didn't think the acting was good? No. I mean, as far as the minor characters, the background people... Like, when he was on the wooden boat, the main guy, and there was a couple of homeboys with him, they weren't terrible actors. They were not Hollywood, you know, top 20 level, right? Or even top 30 or 40. They were kind of like our B actors. They weren't horrible, but I wasn't convinced. Now, granted, this isn't supposed to be real. Well, I guess... You know, in the movie it's real, but this is not how people react and how they do things. Uh, you know the main guy was a coward. Well, I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't seen it. Uh, and I still have to talk about the second half. So that's what I give it so far. And I'll continue this, I'll edit it in so you won't know the difference. And it'll be another two-minute tirade. But this is low quality. I'll say more in the second part. Part two of three. About halfway in, Godzilla makes landfall. You're really expecting, like, the action to come pouring in. I don't know. You get maybe 60 seconds of Godzilla. It's not as big as in other movies, at least not at this point. He's still big. Um, he comes in and wrecks shop on some Chinesey island none of us ever heard of, or will. And he brings the pain, the ruckus, usual Godzilla type tactics. Uh, the main dude's sort of baby mama. Gets literally blown away. Uh, main guy survives. Yeah, there'll be an ending with the part three update. Um, Godzilla gets mad and he goes bubonic on these kids. Atomic. I'll leave it at that. And I'm going to leave part two with... The Godzilla that destroyed their best battleships. The Godzilla that withstood tanks blasting them, landmines, small arms fire. The best that these people had. He survived all of it. So the head science guy, I was going to make a joke about Bill Nye, the science guy, but let's be honest. 
I don't know how many are going to see this vid, but not one of you millennial motherfuckers know who Bill Nye... Who's Bill Nye the science guy? None of you know who that is. Fact! Don't even say right now somebody's Googling it. Oh! <laughs> Alright, but I'm not going to make that joke. Their brightest guy in all the chinese territories who kind of reminds me of the scientist from Back to the Future. He's got crazy hair and googly eyes. He just looks like a nerdy science guy. After all battleships and tanks and various armaments failed, he comes up with the genius plan. Let's kill this monster with... I'm going to give you a couple seconds to think about what they're going to try to kill him with. Even bigger guns? <coughs> the entire Air Force? <coughs> You're thinking they secretly had atomic weapons? Certainly not an H-bomb. But isn't it the same thing, Phase Car, an atomic bomb and the H-bomb? No, they're quite different. There's not even really radiation fallout from an H-bomb. But none of you know how those bombs work. And what we have now is way better. Is that what you're thinking? They're going to bomb this sucker? Nope. I mean, I'm going to spoil it for you. They are going to subdue Godzilla. The big plan that the head science guy came up with. They're going to attack him with... Drum roll, please. Bubbles. Yes, I'm not trolling you. And what I said was a fact. The plan is to attack Godzilla with bubbles. Stand by for part three. Well, in the third and last installment here, uh, anything you need to know. We talked about baby mama getting blown away. Um, the baby cries a few times. We attack Godzilla, Godzilla with uh, bubbles, which, shockingly, were not super effective. Uh, I think I'm going to end it here. I won't tell you the precise ending, but uh, everything was kind of ineffective in the end, not surprisingly. And if you look below, there's going to be a link in the comments. And although this, whatever, nameless chinese country banded together to fight an enemy, and they thought they did pretty good, there's one Zilla that I know that it's not just that it can't be stopped. You can't do anything to it. One or two quick questions. Was this worth watching? <laughs> to me, this was a B- minus or a C movie. Something uh, some college kids could have made. The total amount of time Godzilla was fighting in a two, let's call it two-hour movie, was two minutes. And a lot of the times he was just standing or floating around. Uh, I wouldn't really even call this an action movie. What is your ear eating on camp? Oh, that's like uh, nachos, which is not my preferred thing, but it was given to me. Uh, anything about uh, fruit punch lemonade is what I'm drinking. All right. Okay, this person says they saw it and they thought it was good. We have different definitions of good, evidently. Um, there's episodes of American Dad or Family Guy that are more exciting and enjoyable than this movie. It's not that it was bad, necessarily. It just wasn't good, either. It was a, a, a time waster. Like, I wouldn't be, this is not something, an event that people would watch and then at the proverbial 
you know, water cooler. It was talked about, oh, did you see that good zero minus one movie? There, there's nothing to talk about. There was no high points, really. Um, I'll leave it at that. I'll take one more question. Overall, after seeing the whole thing, what do you rate it? A three or a four? It just wasn't great. I remember a while ago watching a Kong versus Godzilla movie. The name of it is escaping me, the exact name. That was orders of magnitude. None of you know what that means. It was a hundred times better than this. I remember a island where they found King Kong. I'm just going on giant titan monster movies. That was a hundred times better. The, the, the Godzilla with Matthew B Broderick. Is that his name? Yeah. Um, did you know he's married to the woman from Sex in the City? Never watched that? No, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, like your average Star Trek movie and TV show, all of them are better than, than this movie. The cartoons of Star Trek are better than this. And Star Wars. Um, I'm trying to think of a movie that I've seen less good, you know, in 20 years. Uh, see, I could name three movies. And if 10,000 people saw this, none of you would know the three new movies I'm about to name. Troll 2. <laughs> you know, I'll leave it. None, none of you even know what that was. Toxic Avenger. Although that was at least a little funny. Get Carter. <laughs> no one here saw any of those movies. Uh, yeah, so it wasn't great. It wasn't good. It wasn't the, the blockbuster that I expected. All right. There you go. That's why some of these countries, the fucking food they eat is just, it bugs me, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to be racist. I'm going to say China, but I don't mean China. I just mean countries that Chinese people come from. <laughs> <laughs>